I have been putting off getting started on this project for way too long. Yesterday was the first day of summer. I meant to be up here sometime in April, and I haven't done hardly anything up here other than some test chinking and getting the scaffolding set up. Today I'm going to see if I can get this gable in framed in. I may not be able to get it all done. I don't work anywhere near as fast as I used to. Not too many years ago, that would have been about a two-hour project. Now it might be a couple of days. Now the studs on this end wall are not load bearing. The roof structure between the rafters, the ridge board, and these collar ties are what hold the roof together. And it's been framed that way for several years now. These are just to hold some sort of siding on the end so that we can close this up and make it weather tight.
piece of cake. Well, at least it's there. It's there. Well, it wasn't too bad. That took about three hours to get it framed up, put some OSB and some Tyvek on it. Then the weather started to look a little bit threatening, so I went ahead and moved inside, started cleaning up in here. This place has really become disorganized and cluttered, full of leaves and pine needles and stuff that's blown in because of the whole thing being wide open. And now it looks a lot better. It's more organized. Just as much stuff, but the pine needles and the leaves have been shoveled out and things have been organized a little bit better. I can finally get to this window over here so I can cut in the window buck. And I'll explain door and window bucks probably in the next video and what those do, how I'm gonna frame those in. It's a bit of a process, but in short, it's what frames in the window to keep the logs in line so the logs can't shift. And then I can get rid of all these two by four braces that I've got up on here. But now I'm gonna move on to looking at siding that gable and what the soffit's going to look like. We think we're going to use the same material that's on the roof. That's a corrugated sheet metal finished in black. And we really like that. And it's maintenance free. At least in my lifetime, it'll be maintenance free. It should last for about 50 years. And as a gable end, it's probably going to last for 100 years. So we should never have to get up there and paint it, do anything with it. So the first thing I've got to do is cut some sheet metal, then get back up on the scaffolding and see what that looks like. Now, I ordered all of the trim to go on the fascia boards and the end rafters, all that stuff, when we ordered the roofing, and I thought we had everything right, but either I didn't communicate what I wanted well enough, 
or they didn't understand what I wanted well enough, one way or the other. But this is not tall enough here. This doesn't tuck up under the drip edge right under the roof. And in looking at the drawing, the measurement that I had given them was for this dimension, the from the from the flange to the top, and they made it the overall dimension. So I'm an inch short, and it, it would have fit, and it would have fit perfect if it had been that. But either they didn't understand it, or I just gave them the wrong stuff, or didn't give them enough information, which leads to them not understanding it. But in any case, I got to order all this stuff again. The stuff for the far end has the same kind of problem with it. I need some sort of a flashing where the gable in the log transition there. Unfortunately, that isn't level. Logs are, are never straight and parallel. And as you go up, one's kind of this way, the next one's kind of this way, and you kind of alternate. But as you get up there, it's leaning this way. So anything that's plumb, it has a square cut, doesn't come all the way down to where the log is. So I either need to cut everything at an angle on both ends, which is going to be complicated, or you need to put a piece of flashing in that levels that out and let the log look sort of tapered in there. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. If you do any log home building and you've dealt with a problem like this, I'd love to hear how you deal with it. But probably I'll put something in level so I can have square cuts on the bottom of all that cheap metal. And then it's going to go in nicely. I think the look is what we're going for, though. So I've been making detailed drawings of all the flashing that I need, both for the gable ends, the fascia board at the ends of the rafters, that drip edge that goes underneath the sheet metal, and a trim piece to go up at the top between the soffit and the gable end. So four different pieces of trim. I've got detailed measurements on all of them, and I think I've got every single measurement listed on here. So they should understand just exactly what I'm looking for. I'll probably get back up here in a few days, start working on those door and window books, That'll be a whole new video, and we'll see you then.